Now occasionally you do get aquariums that appear to leak, but it is not actually the aquarium that's leaking, it's actually the capillary action that occurs um, in the top of the aquarium. So what can actually happen is you can get calcium buildup around the aquarium. I'm not saying it's happened with this particular aquarium, but something to be aware of. And then that creates like a 3D terrain. Then all it takes is for a fish to do a big splash and the water go this way. Then what happens with the capillary action is that the outside of the water um, has a high surface tension, but the inside of that little trickle has a low surface tension. So what can actually happen is water can actually get over an area like this due to capillary action. So if your aquarium particularly has calcium buildup on one or both, or particularly both sides, particularly this side, then it is actually possible for water to dribble away over the top there. And if you ever find that happening, the most important thing to do is um, take your aquarium apart and clean all the top and make sure your water level is not too high. If your water level is super high, then this capillary action is a lot more common. And in a lot of those all-in-one aquariums, this is a lot more common because often with the all-in-one aquariums, there's plastic that hugs the glass and then that aids the siphon. So if the water splashes up and there's a plastic case around the outside, it means that the water actually can use the plastic case for its surface tension and can create a, um, a siphon which can just slowly drip down the back of your tank making you think that the tank is actually leaking. So you want to just pull the top off, clean all the tank up, that'll interrupt the, um, the um, capillary action and you want to make sure your tank is completely level because if your tank is not completely level that means water runoff particularly if it's an all-in-one tank the water runoff will um, um, encourage this sort of behavior I've also got other videos on this channel that teach you how to check if your tank is leaking because most of the time it isn't actually the tank leaking it's either some sort of capillary action or the water is not running down from the filter or there is another diagnosis.